Well, at least the star survived the explosion. Dude. Oh, yeah, I, I was about to. I wonder if Star Hill would change it all now. Well, everyone's here. See, Bowser, doesn't it feel good to do something nice for a change? For, like, one game? I mean, they wouldn't give you another one. Right? Uh, you're welcome. Our job is done. Let's go. And then what? What I wouldn't give to see Gino in the next Super Mario movie. What's happening to you? Dude? Oh, right. He was just, like, possessing the doll. That part gets me a little choked up. I mean, he's not dead or anything, but still, come on. Oh yeah, the sword. What do we do about that? Oh, there we go. I guess we wished it to go away and that works. Works for me. <laughs> G or Mallow's carrying the Gino doll. <laughs> Tadavsky <laughs> and the I think that was the frog on the left there from what was that Seaside Town I think it was sold us that experience booster well you got your dial back yeah, Krakow found a place to go I guess Ah. Did he do that intentionally? Huh. I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you two deserve each other. And Dodo. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You were a star, both literally and figuratively. Musty fears. Whoa, nice background there. So beautiful. Hey! So now I guess you're crowned or just the crowd crown prince? Got a cape and everything. Hmm, this reminds me of another Mario RPG style game. Maybe it's just the color palette. Hey, get back here with that clown car! 
<laughs> and so many memorable NPCs throughout the game. Hey, even Punchinello is there. And uh, Booster's hiding from his wife. Uh Man, that's a really good ending song. Oh, yeah, it's been a long time coming. Man, they really gave it their all for this remake. Wonder how much it cost them to get the rights to Gino for this. So are we having like a, a parade or something or what's going on? We're watching the credits and let's take a look back on the adventure. Definitely one of my favorite games of all time. Pretty much 10 out of 10 for everything throughout the game. And for the graphics, they, they kind of remind me of the, the Link's Awakening Switch remake and the, well, the recent Super Mario movie there. Very bright and vibrant. I love that they still kept the 2.5D perspective of the Super Nintendo version, even if they could have, you know, rotated camera angles around. More like a real 3D environment, but I like it this way. Some parts seemed a little easier for me to judge my distance with the new graphics. But, I don't know, maybe that's just in my head. And for the plot, easily another 10 out of 10. Bad guys doing bad things, go kill them. Fortunately, the real bad guys are all robots, so we don't have to worry about inflicting bodily harm against them or hurting their feelings. And the characters all had their personality quirks, even Mario, without saying anything. This is probably the first Mario game, or at least... The first for me, where we got more of an idea of what life is like in the Mushroom Kingdom and the surrounding regions. And the NPCs really gave a lot of depth and backstory to the game, which really provided a, a lot of motivation for me to want to help everyone and the NPCs in the game. For the music, also 10 out of 10. I mean, come on, it's Yoko Shimamura. If there's anyone qualified to be a successor to Nobuo Matsu, it's her. I don't know, a game with so much happy music throughout the game. I love that the music was just perfectly upgraded to the Switch without really changing too much. I mean, it sounds like they basically just took the original songs and put a new sound font on them, and that's it. I approve. They even gave the option to use the original Super Nintendo soundtrack if you really wanted. But I already did an LP with that one, so I stuck with the new ones. And for the battle mechanics, I'd also give them a 10 out of 10. I greatly appreciate the more apparent visual cues for the timing mechanics. I do like the new additions with the splash damage to help speed up normal battles. Ally buffs, triple moves. Bowser's still mostly useless, but I like how everyone was at least somewhat useful in the final battles there. My only complaint is that there's just some days that I just cannot do the timed hits for no apparent reason, but I suppose that's not really the game's fault. So yeah, overall, I'd give the game 10 out of 10. Definitely one of the best games of all time. The remake, well worth the money that I spent on it. So, what's going on with the, the fireworks there? Are we going to have fireworks? I'm not precisely sure how buying the fireworks affects the ending. Did we already have the fireworks and I just forgot about it? 
for wasn't paying attention because I'm doing my review of the game. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I love when they do medleys like this throughout the... Well, for songs throughout the game. You can never go wrong with that. Gino, is that you? Well, thanks for paying us a visit. Oh, we can, uh... You want to inhabit the doll again? No? Whoa! <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? <laughs> What's up? Hey, there they are. Wow, that's way more than the five or six fireworks I actually bought. Well, at least we didn't miss them. Would have been nice if they did, like, a Mario 1 reference with the fireworks. Like, so something with, like, uh, what was it? When your timer ends on a stage with the ones digit is 1, 3, or 6, if I recall correctly. Something like that. Well, goodbye again. The end! But the LP is not over yet, viewers, because in the Nintendo Switch version, we have post-game content to go through. Yeah, let's save our clear data. Very nice. And now we can continue onward. What else is there for us to do now? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.